Hi guys, it's been a while. I've been really busy. I just got back from a trip from Jogja. Yeah. But that's another story for another day. Today, I have an exciting unboxing to share with you guys. The entire ink collection called Sweet Life from Monteverde. I'm just like super excited to check out this delicious range of des desert blood. <laughs> of dessert inspired inks but first up let's check out the pens so i have three really exciting pens to share with you guys today so there's two conquering pens from today's unboxing oh can you hear that yes I <laughs> anyway chip chips you are going to learn this. Check it out. This is the transparent version of the Conklin Crescent and it is truly a thing of beauty. I chose the stub net because I like broader strokes. Look at the body. I'm going to fill it up later and you, you're going to see it in action and then you'll know why this is all the rage. Mark Twain used to use this by the way. And you see like there's this line here when you twist it basically you unlock the pump mechanism here so it can there's there's like a little dip so you can push it all the way in i have another conkling crescent but i really wanted to try out this converter because i was always really curious how it worked you can't screw this body off you you just have to like dip it into the ink and then you press it and basically it sucks up the ink so it goes all the way up and basically to clean it you just like put it in water and you keep pumping it until the water runs clear so yeah i'll demonstrate it later on how to refill but this is a really exciting pen so i'm just going to put this out here and keep the box i keep all of my Compton and Montevideo boxes because they are so pretty so for the second Conklin pen, let's put this here. Another Conklin crescent, but this time it's in white. So it's the same, basically it's the same thing, but you can see the difference now, and you can see how the mechanics work. Okay, who is messaging me? Oh. Nessie, the girl who just rented my place. Hi Nessie! Okay, gotta get back to you later. But yeah, so both of these pens have this like clip as well that you can press to kind of widen it up. And same mechanism. Unlock it, put it on the ridge here, press it down, put it in the ink, and then you just keep pumping until it's full. The tricky thing about this pen is that you can't, well this one, you can't see how much ink you have left, whereas this you can. Um, you just have to like, kind of gauge by weight. And after a while really, it's quite easy to estimate. Okay, so we have two beautiful conklins here. And now we have a Monteverde. Now this is really exciting. This is called the Engage Pen and of course it comes with some stuff here let's take it out okay this warning is like a no-brainer just don't if you don't cap your pen properly and it leaks then it's not their fault which is yeah fair enough right <laughs> look at this beautiful body it comes in like um, this rainbow color and also like a transparent one but I really like the black so I went with this and this is no ordinary ballpoint pen my friend I am not a big fan of ballpoint pens but I knew I had to try this out because this unlike other ballpoint pen this can take normal fountain pen inks look at that so there's a converter in here and 
honestly I really don't know how I'm going to use this yet there's going to be a tutorial I'll probably watch it before I try to use it but I suppose ah oh. ah here we go yeah so it's like a normal fountain pen kind of converter I'm gonna suck up the ink and then screw it in here yeah, cap it properly so it doesn't leak. Yeah, so that's that. If you have lots of inks, for example, ta -da! if you have lots of inks, then this ballpoint pen is probably for you, even if you are not a big fan of ballpoint pens. Just refill it with all your existing fountain pen inks and you don't have to worry. You also take uh, other cartridges. So that's good when you're traveling and going to lug around some bottles of things. Okay, this is this. Alright, so we're just going to put this aside. Mm. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Mm. So you can actually refill without detaching the ink ball section from the converter. That's convenient. Okay, we'll give it a try. Give it a whirl. Okay, so now, 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 what shall we do? Let's open up this beautiful box of inks that we're going to try. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh, it's so beautifully packaged. Let's move this here, have a better view. Wow. It's a reusable magnetic box. That's great. I love boxes. That's where I, I store all my, you know, scrap paper and stickers and all that. I can't get enough of boxes. Fill them all up. Anyway, so look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten beautiful inks and it ranges from pumpkin cake, ice cookie, chocolate pudding, cherry danish, strawberry shortcake, birthday cake, blue velvet cake, key lime pie, mango mousse and blueberry muffin wow this is sweet okay <laughs> pun aside let's have a look this actually i really wanted to try the pumpkin cake and the chocolate pudding because you know my style is um, i like earthy tones so this is as earthy as it gets like nice brown some i think it's Pumpkin cake has a tinge of orange if I'm not mistaken. But for the sake of getting to know all these inks a little better, I'm gonna do a swap test. Well, not really a test, but just to see the shape.
recording because there's this annoying shadow cast by this window beam and um, yeah so this is a little bit of a behind the scenes of how I shoot oh look at that mess all the boxes and um, of course I have my coffee and yeah so I just wanted to show you why the video abruptly stopped okay so the sun is gone and now we will have a better better lighting this is the mango mousse this is the strawberry cheesecake please excuse the inks on my hand here this is the key lime pie this is the ice Velvet cake. Blueberry muffin. Birthday cake. Cherry Danish. Pumpkin cake. Ooh, I love this. And a really dark, nice dark brown. The chocolate pudding. Let's now play with some of the pans. So I'm going to go with a chocolate pudding for this. So what I'm going to do is unlock it. Not all the way, but enough to cover the the nib, and then I'm just going to pump it. So there you have it. Once you twist the cap, it will be locked. Okay, so the annoying shadows are back, but <laughs> I'm going to pause for a while. But you can see now that it's filled up in the inside. And it should work beautifully after this. Let it sit for a while. I'm going to take a pause, get rid of this silly shadows and I'll be back oh. okay since I've already pumped in all the ink that I can possibly pump it in I spilled some ink on myself but no worries so what I'm gonna do is just write using the what ink is this again? I think it's the Monteverde chocolate pudding. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that ink. Look at that nib. Look at the pen. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm just gonna set this aside. The stupid sun is back again, you know what? I give up. I give up. We're just gonna have to deal with the, the shadows and whatnot. Ah! Blooper. Now I'm going to fill this pen. This is the Conklin Crescent as well, but it's in white ivory. And let's go with the pumpkin cake. Bama, look, I wet it. Mm, I'm gonna have to do another one of these. Okay, never mind, no worries. Later. And then now I'm gonna write with it. Okay, I know it's weird that I'm writing it slanted. I just want you to be able to see it in, in this video. Let's 
しいですねシンフォニー is my favorite word to write it's gorgeous I have to give Conklin credit for this beautiful 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 pen this is not just a pump to refill your ink but it stops your pen from rolling off which is pretty cool if let's say your clip is not on you know how you usually write and then you put it down well it won't roll off because this is like a stopper yeah fun fact it's pretty cool isn't it i said cool too many times okay now for this ballpoint pen i know you can do it according to the instructions According to the instructions, you should be able to do it from the ballpoint up. Hmm. But you know what? I reckon I'm going to be safe and do it this way. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to fill it with the blue velvet cake because it's pretty color. And I'm just going to fill it, refill it. Like a normal fountain pen. And then screw it back on. Screw it tight so that it doesn't leak out. This is not your normal like gel ballpoint pen, so you gotta make sure that it's screwed in tightly, otherwise it leaks and it will damage all your stuff. really excited to use this guys I think this is pretty much a game changer for me being able to use my fountain pen inks with a ballpoint pen so let's give it a twirl oh my god this is beautiful and it's so smooth this is smoother than any ballpoint pen I've ever used oh this is a winner look at that gorgeous jeez it's like freaking glides across the page oh my god i didn't know what to expect with this pen but <laughs> i'm obsessed right now joy to write with you know what I might actually start using this beautiful engage what is the proper name for it beautiful engage retractable ink Sorry, I can't stop writing because it's just, I can't believe how smooth this is. This is gorgeous. This is a really beautiful pen to write with. You just have to try it to believe it. So I'm just going to do some signature. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This is legit blowing my mind. You know... One of the reasons why I don't like using ballpoint pens as well is because the inks are so limited. All the cartridges, like this little, you know, travel friendly cartridges that you know, refills for all your ballpoints. But the fact that now I can use any of these inks here is a game changer. I have to mention that. This is a really nice weight as well. I mean, usually ballpoint pens, I don't know, the ones I have anyway, feels a bit cheap and light. But this one is has a really nice balance and weight. So I'm gonna like lift it up and show you. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna write. Look at that. 
look it's effortless oh my gosh so yeah guys thank you so much for watching my youtube unboxing and video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it interesting and useful and if you have any questions that you need clarifying or if there's something i said that you aren't sure about it could be my accent <laughs> um, or that i talk too fast feel free to shoot me a comment below and i'll be happy to answer thank you bye